now for the ladies. They are going crazy. He has arrived. It's Mr. Morris Chestnut. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How you doing, man? I'm fantastic. We literally have women going crazy about you on our on our app right now. They're saying, you know, you're like some girl's free pass. You're the one guy <laughs> that they have on their list of like celebrity crushes they're allowed to openly crush on. Oh wow, wow! That's, that's, that's good to hear. Yeah, c- congratulations, <laughs> man. Uh, we're talking about. I, I heard them. I heard them right after you, though. Exactly. You. Yeah, it's Big J and then Morris Chestnut. We're both very, very attractive. I'm just a uh, plump white guy with no style, and you're just a uh, a sexy African American prince. Whatever. We're about the same. The movie The Call. There's a sneak peek tonight at 10 o'clock at Shiloh 14 here in Billings. You can see it before everybody else does. It's the movie, just to put it for people that have seen previews and don't know which one I'm talking about. Halle Berry's the 911 operator. That's right. Abigail Breslin, wonderful little actress. She's going to be on the show tomorrow. She gets kidnapped, and then uh, everything goes crazy, and you help out, obviously, as Officer Paul Phillips. Exactly. Tell us about the movie. It basically, the movie opens up where a, um, a kidnapping takes place, and um, the, uh, Abigail's character is called into the 911 call center, and that's when she gets Halle Berry. And I play Harry Be- Halle Berry's love interest in the, in the movie. And while Halle Berry is in the, is in the, is in the call center, she's telling, giving me the details, because I'm a, a, a patrol officer in the field. She's giving me the details of where I need to go to try to track down this killer. She says, oh, he's in this house. We go to the house. He's not there. He's, He's in this abandoned building. We go there. He's not there. So we're trying to track down the killer. Ah, I see. And this is it's it's kind of an interesting film. Not, I mean, doesn't seem interesting when you see the preview. It seems just like a normal film, but it is a WWE movie, which you know some of those go huge and some of those you know don't go so huge. Are you worried about being under the WWE umbrella, or do you think the movie will stand well enough on its own that people will see past that? Um, I think the movie stands well on its own. I think we're gonna have a big second weekend. Um, because I think what happens is, and people look at the trailers, and, I, and the movie is so much more than the trailers. Some trailers you look at and you say, you know, oh, they put all the good stuff in the trailer. Our stuff, our, there's no way, and I even talked to the producers in the studio about this, there's no way that our trailer can actually do the movie justice. You have to actually see the movie. And everyone who's seen the movie, they're on the edge of the seats, they're squirming, they're talking back to the screen. It's a great ride. Um, but it's really hard for the trailers to do it justice. Yeah, it se- I mean, that's kind of the vibe I get from it, too. It seems like one of those movies that, and it's short, too. I mean, that's the thing. It's not like a long, drawn-out thing. It's like you get in the moment, and you cram all that suspense into, you know, 95 minutes, and that, that's solid. Plus, you've got a solid cast. I mean, you, you know, have done everything. You've been around the block, and then you've got right. Abigail Breslin, who's great, and obviously right. uh, Halle Berry. I mean, killer cast here, so, I mean, how can it not, how can it not work? I mean, it seems like it's, you know, made for success. Let me tell you something. Beyond just you know the performances, because Tally is definitely great. Abigail is really great. Um, the director just did a, does a great job. I mean, you really are within ten minutes into the movie. I mean, you are really into the movie. People don't even want to get up, go to the bathroom. They don't want to do anything. They just want to sit there and watch because it, it, it's really a ride. And I'm not just saying that. I mean, people really do feel that way. That's awesome, man. Well, what else are you up to? The call opens, uh, you know, this weekend everywhere uh, or tomorrow call? everywhere. I forgot it's almost Friday. What what else is happening in life other than the call right now? Exactly. The call opens Friday. Um, I have a movie called Kick Ass Two that's coming out uh, in August, um, and I'm doing. I did a season on Nurse Jackie, um, which starts in April, and um, I'm starting a movie called The Best Man, a sequel to The Best Man, which start, we start shooting that next month. Very cool, man. You're busy. That's. I mean, that's kind of how your whole career has been. You've been. You do a lot of stuff, man. It's like that's kind of the cool. You always dream about, you know, becoming an actor and stuff, but then certain actors get, you know, pigeonholed and they just do TV, they just do movies, or they just play this one character. You've got right. that great setup where it's like you're doing a little bit of everything. You know, you can do comedy, you can do action, you can do, you know, TV, you can do whatever you want. That's got to be yeah. awesome. Thank you, man. Oh, yeah, no, it's very, very, very exciting. And I'm just, you know, just glad to still be here, you know, making movies and, um, and you know, doing relevant stuff. So it's, it's just great to be a part of. You know, and then like I say, this this movie, yeah, this is actually, I feel really good about this movie because, you know, obviously I read the script and obviously I I worked on the movie. So when I saw it, I was just really happy that it was it turned out the way that it did. Yeah, is there? Are you married or anything, or is there a chance that yeah. you're gonna? Oh, dang it! So there was no <laughs> chance with you and Halle Berry. <laughs> no, she has a she has a fiance that likes to box, and 
<laughs> and uh, I'm married, so it didn't work out. Yeah, exactly. I love the fact that you threw in he likes to box, too. It's like, yeah, just to add fuel to the fire. Like, I'm not messing with that. Yeah, he's a boxer. Yeah, exactly. I, I love it, man. Well, I, yeah. I can hold my own, but you know what I'm saying. Exactly, yeah. He likes to box. Just me. You don't want to go through the hassle. I feel you on that, man. The movie, I think it looks great, uh, and it's got a great cast, and like uh, Morris says, man, once you get into it, you can't stop. It's just a, you know, a thrill ride for all 95 minutes. It opens tomorrow officially tonight, 10 o'clock at Shallow 14. You can see a sneak peek. The movie is The Call. Halle Berry is his love interest in the film. Not in real life. His wife is. But Morris Chestnut, I know that depresses a lot of women in our audience, but they're glad to hear from you today. So thanks so much for taking time for us, and uh, best of luck with all the upcoming projects, man. Appreciate it, Big J. Thanks for having me. The Big J Show. Weekday mornings from 6 till 10 on Billings' number one hit music station, Hot 101.9.